It is so good to be back at Fancy Farm to speak to both the churched and the unchurched. You know, I wondered, given Mitch McConnell's lack of popularity, even in his own party, how the Republican Party would lure so many Republicans to Fancy Farm this year. And I've got to give you credit, it was a brilliant trick to have a must-be-present, a must-be-present raffle, a must-be-present raffle for our former Commissioner of Agriculture's prepaid trip to Mexico. Folks, that's what this is about. It's about standing up for good government. You know, Jamie, you wouldn't be eligible for that, and neither would I. But neither would Rand Paul, because he's not here. You know, folks, we have two kind of senators in Kentucky. We've got one that is out of town and another that's out of time. This is about the consequences that we find in elections. It's about whether we're going to support a candidate that is of the people, by the people, and for the people, or a party that is of the few, by the few, and not for you. This in so many ways, this in so many ways is about the kind of an agenda that we want here in Kentucky. One that is fundamentally fair to our, all our people. One that provides opportunity for people for as long as they're willing to get themselves up, dust themselves off, and start again. This is about standing up and making sure that everybody has opportunity. That we're not a party that tolerates a 150% increase in the cost of a college education at the University of Kentucky. But to get there, to solve very old problems, we've got to have new leaders with new faces and new energy. Because I would tell you that you can't solve old, old problems without new energy. Allison Lundergan Grimes is the most energetic public official that I know. And she will lead this state in the direction that we need to go, one that treats women like human beings. One that understands that our generation is totally, our future generation is totally married to our ability to make sure that a college education is affordable for every American. You know, I've pushed those kind of reforms as your taxpayer watchdog, and I've even worked with some of the people who are booing me now. The fact that a $2.7 billion layer of government in Kentucky is accountable is because I worked with the Republicans and brought Democrats together in the name of good government. The fact that we're able to make sure our managed care program runs for the benefit, runs for the benefit of our patients and providers rather than the big insurance companies is something that I'm proud of. And at the end of the day, being the first auditor to enter the education space, because ladies and gentlemen, in a time and place, in a time and place where back to school list looks like laundry list of janitorial supplies. When no teacher is getting a consistent raise, yet every teacher is spending money out of their pocket to buy materials for our kids, what we have to do is speak the message loud and clear that educational bureaucracies exist to support excellence in the classroom. It's not the other way around. You know, it has become fashionable in some quarters to put down our school teachers. I would submit to you, try turning around to school without them. Folks, let's have it out. For the next 15 months, let's talk about the kind of Kentucky and America that we want to live in. Let's give the power to do good to somebody who will do good. You know, Mitch McConnell regularly talks about, regularly talks about how much power he has. But for those 1,100 workers at USEC, Mitch McConnell's power meant nothing. For the 10,000 people being moved off the base at Fort Knox, Mitch McConnell's power meant nothing. For the 3,000 coal miners who have lost their job in the last 18 months, Mitch McConnell's power means nothing. If Mitch McConnell won't use his power to fight for our jobs, we ought to use our power to make sure he doesn't get to keep his. This is a time for Kentucky renewal, Kentucky greatness, and American renewal. And that is going to be driven by a new generation of leadership that recognizes that while you can chant in unison, that doesn't mean you can change a country. 
making it a party that says, while you can raise the big money, the politics should still be about people. Folks, at the end of the day, this isn't just about a rejection of Mitch McConnell and his band of cronies. This is about the triumph of people and ideas over the old school politics of the past. You know, we're a poor state, and a poor state doesn't have the luxury of being dumb. We don't have the luxury of selling our people out, our public schools, to private corporations. It means that we've got to fight for the future and continue to do the right thing. And as long as I'm in public life, it will be the highlight of my career to get to work with great people like Allison Lundergan Grimes to change Kentucky and to change this country. Thank you very much.